The second release of Secrets of the Obscure is out, and with it comes the second quarter of The Wizard's Vault, one of the biggest changes to the game to come with the expansion. Let's go over what's changed and what additional information we now know about how the vault functions. First, I'd like to mention that I've made two previous videos about the vault. Both still hold true with the changes in this update, so I'd recommend giving them a watch if you want a general overview of the system or a guide on how to turn your astral acclaim into gold. Now, let's discuss the items offered in the vault. The standard items have all returned and don't appear to have had any price changes as far as I'm aware. I would like to point out two things here that I didn't highlight in my previous videos. First, the large crafting bags offered for 40 acclaim each. I advised against purchasing these in my acclaimed gold guide, but didn't elaborate as to why. The reasoning is quite simple. Buying large crafting bags will net you fewer materials overall than buying the infinite gold bags for 30 acclaim. The wiki estimates a large bag as having a value of about 16 to 17 silver on the trading post, whereas a gold bag, which costs 10 less acclaim, gives you 1 gold. Buying gold bags is a far more efficient method of obtaining 5th tier materials, so there's zero reason to ever buy large crafting bags from the vault. The other item I wanted to comment on is the Lesser Essence of Gold, which costs an astonishing 1,000 acclaim. This is a very high price for only a 1% increase to gold dropped from mobs, which is further harmed by the fact that many mobs don't even drop gold. One user on the Guild Wars 2 subreddit calculated that it would take them over 9 years at their current rate for a lesser essence of gold to pay itself back. I would also recommend you avoid investing into this item. Now, let's discuss the one item in the quarterly rotation that has changed, the Legendary Starter Kit. In the first quarter, the kit offered materials for Bolt, Quip, Meteorologicus, or the Bifrost. The new kit offers materials for Bolt, Quip, the Moot, or the Predator. This seems to establish how the Legendary Kits will work from now on. Each quarter, two weapons from the previous quarter will be swapped out with new ones. It's safe to assume that in the third corner, Bolt and Quip will be the ones to get swapped out, followed by the Moo and the Predator in the fourth quarter. Finally, let's discuss the Legacy Rewards tab and the new unique rewards available in the Vault. This quarter brings us three new Sanctified Armor skins and a Sanctified Back Item skin to complete the set. A new set of Dark Sanctified Weapon skins, and the Arcane Flow Infusion. This gives us a pretty good idea of what each quarter's unique rewards will likely be going forward. Three armor skins in the first quarter, followed by three more and a back item in the next quarter to finish that set, a full set of weapon skins, with every other quarter's set perhaps being an alternate version of the previous set, as is the case this quarter, and one to two unique items, such as mount skins, emotes, or infusions. I wouldn't be surprised if we later see miniatures and novelties join the latter category. The unique collectible rewards from the first quarter have been moved to the new Legacy Rewards tab, where they will be permanently available, though each one seems to have had its price increased by 20%. Note that this only includes the unique collectibles, not any of the standard items, including the Legendary Starter Kit. You'll have to get that during the quarter. And that's all to cover here. Once again, I recommend checking out my previous videos on the vault if you want to learn more. Consider leaving a like or subscribing if you found this helpful, and leave a comment telling me what you'd like me to cover in the future. Until next time.